Hello and welcome back. In this video tutorial, we'll be going over LEDs and how to hook them up. These are real basic skills that need to be acquired in order to wire up a single LED or multiple LEDs to one power source. So here we go. Okay, so here's your components. You have an LED and this is your basic five millimeter LED. Um, the LEDs come with two leads on them. One is the long side of the LED. This is the positive side of the LED and the shorter lead, which is the negative side. So what I always do is before I get to ready to wire an LED is the first thing that I do is I take this LED and I bend one side and I grab it right about midway and I bend over this positive side to look like that. That way this keeps my orientation always knowing that that is the positive side when I do any kind of wire hookup. Now all LEDs require an inline resistor in order to operate against most voltages. <clears throat> so what you need to do is you need to put in a inline resistor. So what I've grabbed here is a 220 ohm resistor. These are very common, very standard. And I'm going to get it prepared and wrap it around this positive lead in order to protect the LED. So what I do here is, is I go up here, I put it against the positive side, as you can see right there. And then I wrap it around a few times and leave it like that loose off the end. So it looks like that. Now, since I don't want it dangling out there, what I end up doing is I slide it up to the first small hash marks on the LED itself. And you can see them right there. And I don't worry about the leads yet because I'm going to have to cut those off when it's done and I put the wires together. Now, the best thing I do right now is just it's ready to be soldered. So this is how I do it. I grab one side of the LED and I immobilize it with the helping hands. So now I've got it sitting there free floating on the helping hands and it's holding the resistor and the LED together and providing some uh, heat sink off so I don't have to worry about burning the LED up. Now, my, my soldering iron's already hot. Um, I've been heating it up for a while. So this is how you do the soldering is basically when you apply the soldering iron and I won't apply it yet when you apply the soldering iron you get your rod your rosin core ro rod ready and then what you do is you basically touch the LED wire and the resistor and apply a little bit of solder and it doesn't require much and that's pretty much a soldered joint so I was on there for less than a couple seconds and that is how you complete and get it to solder onto the LED. Now, once this is done and it's cooled down a little bit, you can go ahead and cut those leads off. And I'm going to just trim them off right now. And once these leads are trimmed off, now you're left with a resistor that's soldered onto the LED positive side. And what you wanna do is you wanna protect this LED. So what we do is we go ahead and we use a piece, I got a piece of pre-cut shrink tubing and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assemble, assemble this and I'm gonna slip it up the side there to protect the open wiring that's on the side there. Now, once that's in place, you're able to go ahead and heat seal the shrink tubing. 
which it requires just a little bit of heat. I have a small little torch here and I don't run it very long and that's all you need to do. And then now it's sealed on and that one end is protected. Now we need wire on this because we're going to get, we're going to add it on to somewhere else in the, in the system. So I've grabbed a little short piece of ribbon wire and in a short form, I'm going to explain to you how I picked the colors in ribbon wire. Basically every wire on here that is lighter than the color that's next to it, I consider that positive. Any darker colored wires that are together in a pair, I consider that ground. Now these can be reversed in either way, but you must get the positive and negative direction going properly. So here, I'm gonna strip off a set of wires and I'm just gonna randomly pull a couple off. In this case, I pulled a red and a brown wire. And so in this case, I'm gonna say what one is gonna be the brighter wire? Well, the red is brighter. So I'm gonna use the red wire for positive. I'm gonna use the brown wire for ground. So what I do is I strip the wire back a little bit. I cut it and I twist the end off, exposing the bare wire. And I do the same on the ground side of the brown wire. When I do that, now, I've got my two bare wires. I've already picked my orientation for positive and negative. Now what you need to do, and this you can get very forgetful about forgetting this, is I'm gonna slide on a piece of shrink tubing on there prior to the install. And I'm just gonna slip it over the main area. And you wanna make sure that you got enough jacket room so it kinda sits like that. And that's how it's going to look when you go on there. So you take this one, and I always like doing the plus side first. And so what I do is I take it on there. I'm going to wrap it around the wire of the LED. And in this case, it's going to be on the resistor side because that's the plus side. Again, I'm going to wrap it around the edge of the wire. And I'm going to slide it up onto the... Uh, back of the resistor where it meets the resistor. Now again, I'm going to grab my helping hands. I'm going to hold the LED. I'm going to hold the wire in place. I'm going to make one quick solder joint on here, which is should only take a couple seconds. There it's soldered. Now I'm going to cut the lead off using my cutters. And be just real close not to cut the wire and the uh, off. And that's how you make a solid joint connection soldered to the resistor. And then I just slide this up. And I put it on there like so. Again, I'm going to get my heat shrink. Going to warm it up. Going to shrink that piece of tubing on there so it protects the wire end. And that's how you make up. There's the one positive side made up with an inline resistor. Now you can do this in multiple applications. So if you have one LED, if you've got 100 LEDs, it makes no difference. If you do the inline resisting system like this, every one of them is going to look just like that. Now you can put the resistor somewhere else in line, down the wire somewhere else, and just make the connections. But somewhere along this line in the positive side, you do need a resistor and you'll need one resistor for each LED used. So now I'm going to move forward. I'm going to finish off the wiring. I'm going to go ahead and slide another piece of shrink tubing over the ground side or negative. And then I'm going to twist the wire, make sure it's on there really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook the same way going to spin it around the lead and I'm going to push it forward a little bit and this time since it's going to be a little shorter than the other one you're going to have to push it up a little higher and so that is about where we want it so that's the way that's going to look when it's ready to solder so again I'm going to pull out my helping hands I'm going to clamp it down I'm going to hold the wire in position 
Going to go ahead and solder this joint. Again, two second rule. Heat's on, 1001, 1002. Pull it off, solder joint. Okay, and then that's what that looks like when it's soldered. So there's the other soldered end. And then we're going to slide our shrink tubing and we're going to cut this back a little bit first. So you want to just kind of clean that up and cut that little end off. Slide this up. Get your torch or lighter. You want to close up that wire end so it doesn't touch anything. And that's how you make an LED up with an inline resistor. And this can be done again in multiple ways or multiple LEDs can be done this way. And just to show you what I always like to do is once I make all the connection points, I just go ahead and I pull off the other side of the wire and I'm going to take a little nine volt battery and I'm going to test it to make sure that we've got a, a, a good solid connection and that the LED itself actually works. So um, LEDs don't usually come uh, uh, burnt out, but there is a possibility. So let me grab a nine volt battery. And I take the nine volt battery. We know that our positive side is on the red and our ground side is on the brown. So I'm gonna hook it up that way. I'm gonna turn it on and there it is. The LED is lit. It's operating exactly how it's supposed to. You can see a little shadow of where the LED is actually producing the light. And that's basically how you do an inline resisted LED.